Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate This another video on the two door Landau box Chevy LS swap project. I got my car intake, my throttle body, and my water pump. This the water pump. This the truck water pump. This the LS six water pump. But I got to take my thermostat housing off and swap it. Put it over here. I'm finna paint all this. Well, I ain't gonna paint everything. I'm gonna paint the water pump, and I'm gonna paint the fuel rail on the intake, and I'm gonna paint the throttle body. I'm gonna paint them parts red. But my first step is uh, getting these hoses here off and taking everything apart. Then I cut you back off. I went on the auto zone and picked up another thermostat. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one. The one number nineteen dollars, so I just went on and got it instead of going back with this one. I got my thermostat on my water pump. I got my fuel rail off and cleaned up. I got my throttle body cleaned up. I also took the sensors off. I probably paint just this metal part on this sensor here. And I might paint the bolts just flat black. But the next step is sanding everything down. I'm just going to use a Scotch Bright. Just going to use this here, maroon Scotch Bright. Pieces sanded down, real real, thought about it. I got this sensor sanded down. I'm just gonna paint, paint it black. Also gonna paint my boats black. The water pump going red. The only thing I gotta do now is blow everything off and get ready to mask everything up that ain't gonna paint. But I'm just gonna prime it. Then I'm gonna go straight to the base coat because I ain't worried about it. I ain't trying to get it no smooth finish. I'm just gonna put some red on it and a little clear on it. But I'm gonna prime it, go straight to the base. I ain't gonna sand the primer. This is just a flat black I put on these pieces here. I just did this with the spray can. I got my pieces hung up, masked off, ready to be primed. I got my water pump hung up right here. I came up with a way so I can paint all the way around it without laying it down. 
can see I got everything masked up that I didn't want to be painted. Let me show you the primer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Tamco HP 5310. I'd be a great primer, but I'm gonna reduce it a little bit more because I'm going straight to base after this. I'm not gonna try to sand it or nothing. But it mixes photo work. Four part primer, one part activate. You can use 10% 10 10 reducer, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit more. Tamco primer. I think it laid out pretty good. Like I said, I ain't trying to get no real smooth finish because I'm going straight to the base coat. I ain't gonna sand the primer or nothing. I'm using it as a sealer, really. But this is the base coat I'm gonna use. It's by Eurochem. Slick base, flame red. solid clear for these parts here but if I was painting a car I use high solid this medium speedo cop clear I think I might spray maybe two coats on it
coast of clear. I think it turned out real nice. Not to be hot solid. Like I said, I wasn't trying to get it smooth. I just wanted to put some paint on it. I'm gonna put my fuel red back on my intake. Then I'm gonna get another shot once I do that. I'm just out here unmasking everything, putting everything back together, boating everything down. Also went on and I painted my boats for my uh, bottle cable bracket. And I had to go buy some boats for the, the uh, thought about it. I had to go buy some boats for the thought about it because I ain't had none. I painted them black, flat black. I also painted the delete plate. It was uh, stainless. Once I get everything put together, I'll cut you back on and give you a look at it. I decided not to go with the black boats on the thought about it. I went and got some more flange boats. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the